field trip. And it is part of the three half modular wildlife clinical studies course done by the School of Veterinary Medicine. The first half module they do at the beginning of the fourth year, that's really a background into wildlife conservation, some of the wildlife diseases, and some of the things like human wildlife conflict. We then, having given them the sort of background, go into some of the management tools that they need to be able to deal with that. And this is now the second half module, focusing primarily on physical capture, care and transport. So we're talking about how do we catch the animals using physical mechanisms, uh, how do we actually care for them in the trucks, the transport, and then we go on into the holding bomas for auctions, quarantine and the like. Um, we also, in this second half module, prepare them for the chemical immobilization which they do in number three. Uh, at this stage what we're doing is we're giving them the basic understanding of the equipment, how the, the dart or the remote delivery device works, how the projector works, um, how do you actually dart an animal. It is extremely practical. We work very hands-on. Um, we are taught from almost the first day of the module that you can plan as much as you can in the office, but uh, the real work is done on the ground in the field. I'm a veterinary student currently in my fourth year of studies at the University of Namibia at Noidam campus. And we're currently busy with darting practice where we are working with remote delivery devices because in the wild animal you sometimes need to deliver drugs in which case you cannot um, access or get close enough to the animal. We are just getting comfortable with the dart guns and getting the feel of it, um, learning how to compensate with the wind and um, the, um, how far the animal will be standing and so on. And yeah. It's not shooting live bullets. Um, we use the concept of air that propels a dart and the syringe then goes into the animal and it releases the drugs and then immobilizes the animal. This afternoon we had a, a we, we drove around darting um, wildebeest from a car. It was quite fun and I didn't really expect though because we had to Okay, we sat in the car for quite a while trying to get it and as soon as we got it, so we had to wait for it to get down and then we approached it calmly and then it, it went down and then we had to pick it up and put it on the car. It was like quite, it was quite heavy, it needed like muscle. And then when we got onto, we got onto the truck, we brought it to the trailer, and then we loaded it onto the trailer, and then we had to like put it in a certain position so it doesn't suffer from respiratory effects or anything like that. Yeah, it was quite fun and epic. I've never done that before, so this was my first time and I'm glad I got the opportunity to be part of it. This week was putting together primarily the mass capture, physical capture, and what we had was we had a boma that was built, that's the big funnel thing that we catch the animals in, by a external professional team who came in anyway to catch the animals here and we were just assisting. We also had a second very useful, in hindsight, very useful system which was the passive boma as opposed to the active boma. Um, and that we built up, Dr. Asher Morn came out with, with, with Linus and they built it up about two months ago and they've been monitoring it and managing it and that is where we actually attract animals to, uh, to the BOMA rather than pushing them with a the helicopter.
we caught about 12 wildebeest in the Burma, blue wildebeest, yeah. and we had to gather them around and push them forward to the um, loading zone. Uh, it was quite an uh, exciting experience because you have to be at the ba um, back side of the wildebeest pushing them forward and when wildebeest are under stress they tend to get aggressive so they will charge you. One of our friends had a narrow experience with one just right now yeah. um, but we managed to get them forward and all seems to go according to plan. The students were really able to understand the workings of a passive boma. Um, they've been out uh, most nights watching the animals come in early morning, late evenings. They've learned how to maintain the boma because the wind does require it being maintained every day. We've had alternative water sources that we had to block off so the animals came to the boma that we wanted to catch. And then last night, lo and behold, we managed to catch 12 wildebeest, blue wildebeest in the boma. So very successful from that point of view and then the guys came out, they were able to load them and now they're busy breaking it down. This week has been very difficult with all the challenges that we've had to face and you realise things can change in a split second because we went from full on capturing animals to not being able to because of all the difficulties. Um, there's so many factors that, that go into that, whether it's the weather or the equipment that malfunctions, or you have a person that is not available to do that job, you have to sit and wait. So wildlife is very exciting, but often it's a hurry up and wait situation. I did not know that there will be any darting in this course or any wildlife, in fact, in this course. I found out in my first year that there is. I was quite excited about it because I did not have a lot of, um, I did not have a lot of experience in wildlife, but um, in, in the end, I found that I really liked it. I'm fascinated by it, and I'm fascinated by the medicine behind darting and animals. It is very important that you have your classmates to lean on because you are not in this as an individual. You are in this as a class. And if one of you is struggling, the rest can pull together and assist you. And it is just amazing how close we have become over these four years. So we're trying to encourage and gender in our young veterinarians uh, the idea that wildlife is just another part of normal veterinary medicine. We're not saying it's a specialization. Some of them will go on and do wildlife and wildlife only and will become specialized in it. But that's not what we're doing here and now. We're saying, guys, it's for all of you. Everyone should have a basic understanding. And that's why the Senate and the university made the bold and very correct uh, decision that all undergraduates shall be trained in wildlife.